Hello, Mathieu and Fries, and welcome back. Today we're doing unit one, lesson three, and we'll be discussing difficult sounding words. Words that are spelled differently, but they sound the same, but they have different meanings. So I chose eight words uh, in pairs of two. So two words that have different spellings, but they sound the same, but they have completely different meanings. So in your lesson plan, there will be a link or there will be an extra document. And it's just eight words and it's two pages. And I've got the two words and we're gonna compare them and listen to the way we pronounce them. And they have different spellings. So there's two pages. So just download it or print it and then you can use it and follow along in the video. I'll go through it. It's not gonna be a long video. we we'll just cover these eight words. And then at the end, there'll be a link, or in your lesson plan, there'll be a link to a YouTube video with different difficult sounding words that sound the same, spell differently, but they have different meanings. So just watch that video, that is your homework. It's just to broaden your vocabulary and teach you some new words. So when you print this out, you can just read it along with it and follow along in the video. So let's begin. The first two words are accept versus accept. Accept versus accept. So let's see what they mean and what they are. So accept, A-C-C-E-P-T means, accept means to agree to take something or to say yes to an offer or an invitation. So if your friend asks you, will you come to my birthday party and you accept, then you say, yes, I will go. So you accept something. Or somebody gives you a gift or something and you take it, you accept it. The next word is accept. Oh, there they give you an example. I accept full responsibility for the failure of the plan. So I accept, it's on me. Then accept, E-X-C-E-P-T, accept. Accept means not including, but not. So accept also means with this difference or in this case only. So you can say, um, I am friends with them except John. So he's separate, he's accept him. He's not part of the group. So here they give us an example. It's cool and quiet everywhere except in the kitchen. So the whole house is cool and quiet except in the kitchen because in the kitchen it's lousy or uh, loud, noisy, uh, and it's hot in there, the sun shines there. So everywhere is cool and quiet except in the kitchen. Now we're moving on to the next pair of words. So the next ones are allowed and allowed. Allowed and allowed. So they sound similar, but they are spelled differently and they have different meanings. The first one, allowed, A-L-L-O-W-E-D, allowed. Allowed means give someone permission to do something. You are allowed to do it. If you ask the teacher, can I go to the bathroom, please? And I say, yes, then you are allowed to go. If you're, you ask your parents, can I go out with my friends tonight? And they say, yes, then you are allowed to do it. So here they give an example. The loophole, loophole has allowed hundreds of drink drivers to avoid prosecution. That means there was a new law and it allows them to drive when they are drinking. So that's a bad thing, obviously. So that's allowed. You're allowed to do something. The next one, allowed. A-L-O-U-D, allowed. Allowed means audibly, not silently or in a whisper. So allowed means it's very loud. When something, he shouted aloud. So his voice was loud, not soft. My baba was very loud. So here they give an example. Children love to have stories read aloud to them. So when you read a story to a child, you don't read it softly like this. You read it aloud so they can hear. Okay, so let's move on to the next page and the next set of words that sound similar, spelled differently and have different meanings. The first one is eight. A-T-E, eight. Eight is past tense of eat, which means to put or take food into the mouth, chew it and swallow it. So the example is, he ate every bit of the pudding. I am eating 
I ate. I am eating sushi. I ate sushi, so it's past tense of eat. The next one is eight. Sounds the same as eight, but it's spelled differently. E I G H T. So that's the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bad. I think the entire bad. Yeah, eight. So eight and eight, but it's two different meanings. So eight is equivalent to the product of two and four, one more than seven, or two less than ten. Eight. The number eight. The two buildings are eight meters apart. There are eight students in the class. Eight. Now let's move on to our last set of words that sound similar, spelled differently, but they have different meanings. The first one is break. It's break versus break. So the first one is break. B-R-E-A-K. Break. Break means to separate or cause to separate into pieces as a result of a blow, shock or strain. So the rope broke with a loud snap. So broke is the past tense of break. So break, you break the window, you break the glass. It falls apart, you break something. The next one is B-R-A-K-E, break. So break means to make a moving vehicle slow down or stop by using a brake. You should not break the car abruptly on an icy road. So brake is when you're driving a car Automatic cars these days, you have the gas and you have a brake. So you step on the brake, the car goes and it stops. You're braking, you break the car. So that's brake. So brake, you break something like a glass or a window. Brake, you break the car. Something that's moving is braking, it's gonna stop. So those are a set of eight words um, that we went through that sound similar. They have different spelling and different meanings. But when you pronounce them, they sound very similar. So please download that form or print it, listen to my pronunciation of the words and see what they mean. So follow me uh, along in the video with me. Then watch the YouTube video. There's some other examples of different words that sound similar, have different meanings and are spelled differently. So today's lesson was very short. I hope you all still healthy and happy and safe at home. And hopefully I'll see you in the classroom soon. But if not, I will see you in lesson four next week. So until then, take care of yourselves and uh, be good. Goodbye.